Hello guys, uh, today we're going to do the second half of the, uh, the Lady Victoria Harvey uh, uh, a, a, a thing, uh, like what she was talking about, Galen Maxwell. She's, she's a friend of Galen Maxwell. We wanna, I want to show you the second half, I mean the last half of the video. And I, it's Lady, Lady Victoria Harvey, it looked like she knew something, but she doesn't want to betray Galen Maxwell. It, there's, a, there's a little bit of a loyalty going on in this group, guys. It's a loyalty. Thing. And I think it's very dangerous. I see. In her since September last year, um, I don't think we'll f you're gonna. F no one's gonna find her. Where do you um, think she's gone? That's she's gone far, far away. I don't. Do you uh, know that? I, I mean, it's obvious, you know, Galen's a little bit like a James Bond character. Like she, you know, she's quite a unique person. Um, and I just don't believe that anyone is going to find her. I mean, she might be, in that sense, unique, but she's also somebody who is accused of very serious crimes, of aiding right. and abetting and procuring young girls, underage girls, to be sexually abused and, in fact, is accused herself of taking part right. in some of the abuse. So th this is you not, see, this is not a, a light matter. This is a woman, no. potentially, who has all the answers to all the unanswered questions. Right. Mm. But, I mean, I, I've known her for a long time and when I read all those things about her, like, I just... I'm kind of still in disbelief. Like, I cannot believe, actually, that is the person that... I've known for 20 years. Like it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. Like I mean, I, I met her briefly. Saw... I met her briefly at a book launch in New York in yeah. I think it was 2013 or something, and okay. she's very charming. You know, I didn't know all this backstory mm -hmm. then. Uh, I had a chat with her about her father, Robert Maxwell, he used to be the owner of the Daily Mirror, which of course I'd been yeah. the editor of for mm -hmm. many years. So we had that little connection we talked about. Right. She worked the room. She was clearly a you know a socialite in Manhattan, leading that kind of life. Mm -hmm. But now, what yeah. we know about her now is so serious. And, of yeah. course, Prince Andrew's entire future, frankly, may rest on her if, if she right. does come to justice and does start talking. Um, but right. you, think, you think we'll never see her again? I don't think we're ever going to see her again. I think it's going to be a bit like Robert Maxwell continued. Um, I think she will continue that family mystery. When you last spoke to her, did you talk about Epstein at all? No, we didn't. We didn't discuss that. We were at a friend's baby shower, so um, she's never really kind of got into it, to be honest. And um, I've never really asked her in detail about it. And finally, little bit when you when you discovered, mainly mm. actually just before he died, and then afterwards, when all these women came out, all telling a similar story of underage abuse and targeting and trafficking and so on. Yeah. What did you feel about what? Had, had, had emerged. Yeah, I mean, I was completely shocked, you know. I was so shocked because I just, I had no idea. I really had no idea. And, um, you know, the more I was reading about it, the more I was like, wow, I was actually in one of these apartments and that I, I kind of was, I saw all of it, but I didn't, I saw it, but I didn't see it, you know. What do you and mean you so, saw it, but you didn't see it? Well, I was there, like, I, I, I was at the dinners and, like, Kind, you know, I saw things, but I didn't see the truth. Like, I had no idea what was really going on. But I think, to be honest, the word um, sex trafficking, that's a very strong word, and I don't think that is a correct word to use for this. You know, when you think of sex trafficking, you think of a 12-year-old that's been kidnapped, that's chained, you know, in a cage, um... This is not the same thing. These you girls might are not, you highlight. might not think of it like that, yeah, but unfortunately, Let's be honest. that's he was, how it is. Epstein was convicted of procuring a 14-year-old girl for sex. That is, that's right. trafficking. That's t uh, yeah. This is, when they're underage, it is trafficking. Mm. It's not some it's not light thing. They are being trafficked, these girls. And literally, it was like being described as being like a railway station. In and out, in and out, all right. the time. And there are wow. many of them underage. That was his thing. And that makes him a very dangerous serial paedophile who yeah. was trafficking them. And Ghislaine Maxwell, Has your friend of 20 years, answer. is the woman accused of actually procuring mm. a lot of these underage girls for him to sate his, uh, his criminal lust on. Yeah, I know it's extraordinary that this is the case. It's, it's really... It's a wild story.
Lady Victoria Harvey, um, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Basically, guys, um, uh, like uh, uh, Lady Victoria Harvey said something very suspicious here. She said that no one is going to find Galen Maxwell that Galen Maxwell is like a James Bond character. So basically, if somebody tells you somebody is like a James Bond character, that means that they are idolizing them. So she's kind of an idol. So I'm asking myself, if Lady Victoria Harvey idolizing Galen Maxwell, could she also be in that lifestyle? Because you don't know. You know, We don't know who Galen Maxwell is going to reveal. But it's weird that she said that. I would never say something like that. I mean, why would you say that about a, like a, a, a sex pedophile? Because uh, James Bond is a hero. It's a hero figure that everybody wants to be like. So if you say that Ghislaine Maxwell is like James Bond, that tells you about who you are. You see her as a hero. She's like a James Bond character. She can do things. And she James Bond did have a relationship with a lot of grown women, adult women. but. Epstein has a relationship with a bunch of kids. So that's what I'm saying. So uh, Piers Morgan had to, had to tell her that, hey, he, she might be like a James Bond, but she committed serious crime. Uh, and uh, and then the, the, the interview continued where Lady Victoria said that she had no idea uh, that Galen was into that world. But she came back again. She came back around again to defend Gillette Maxwell and, and say that, oh, sex trafficking, it's the wrong thing. I think it's such a strong word. It's not sex trafficking. But so sex trafficking is when you are in chain and things like that. Let me ask you a question. I don't understand those Hollywood people. Some of them maybe are, are not like thinking clearly. They are saying that she's accused of sex trafficking and abuse. Now you're trying to make a case. Say, it's telling people that, oh, it's not sex trafficking. Like, even even in your mind, you believe that it's okay to have sexual relationship with your kid. Why would you say that on television? It's like, I don't understand those people because here she, she makes herself look suspicious to me. Basically, I take what she's telling me here. I don't know if you guys are looking at it like that. She's telling us, like, it's as long as you don't put the kids in chain and you're having sex, it's okay. You know? So she, she says, she, she's saying that uh, 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 um, Jeffrey Epstein did not put the kids in chain. He did not do that. But and and for her that's okay because but, but he had sex with a minor that's okay that is crazy to say that so lady victoria harvey i hate to say that looks very suspicious to me and um it doesn't look good guys i'm asking you to please subscribe to my channel and let me know what you guys think subscribe comment please thank you